Well, we know distance learning is difficult for students and parents, but this next story might make you think twice about complaining about it. NBC7's education reporter Rory Devine has that. When this school closed due to the pandemic, the stay-at-home order and distance learning took on a whole new meaning for some of the school's students and their families. I started playing when I was little, and I'm really good. That's what they say, I don't know. He's actually a star on his school's basketball team with aspirations of being a professional athlete. Victor Rodriguez seems like most kids, except he's not. We just sit down and just go to sleep. But... Sleeping in his family's car by night and by day. We do it like, yeah, we do it right here. In the car. In the car, yeah. Searching for a place that has Wi-Fi to do his distance learning. The library is closed, so we can't be there and sit down and do it. His school is closed, too. So this is the shower where our students can come and take showers before or after school. The Monarch School, where besides showers, students get food, clothing, and toiletries from the school's boutique. My favorite subject is, is science or math. And take classes. The safe place that we worked so hard to build is now no longer accessible to our families impacted by homelessness. Monarch is still providing all those supports for students, including a hotel room for Victor and his family. It's better than, yeah, it's better than living in the car because <laughs> I have a, a nice bed, a bed and a roof over my head. Where he can do his distance learning. I just like to be grateful for what I have because my mom always taught me to be that way, not to be like choosy because not everyone has the um, opportunities to like, um, to live in a hotel anyways. Victor says if the professional athlete thing doesn't work out. Um, I like to build like, like structures and stuff. He would like to work in construction or become an electrician. <laughs> Aspiring not to let his present determine his future. I envision my life to be not wealthy, but like situated like have like a house and a family and everything that and and just have a good life, you know. Reporting on Maury Devine, NBC7. Well, the Monarch School serves close to 300 students in kindergarten through 12th grade who are in a homeless situation. Monarch received a $100,000 grant from the San Diego Foundation to help with needs during this pandemic. Meanwhile,